When we um, wrote this proposal to the National Science Foundation, it was for instrumentation development, uh, to their instrumentation development program, because this is a nearly one-of-a-kind instrument. And in that, while we were writing that proposal, we wrote about the fact that we had this unique AMI instrumentation facility that was going to be working with us in the design and construction and testing of this new instrument. And it was one of the reasons, I think, that our proposal was successful, that we have this, this kind of unique capability for building new instruments here in our department, here in, in chemistry at Purdue. Um, and so they, in fact, have been involved throughout uh, the, the building and construction and testing that we've done to date um, on, on this new instrument. So in particular, uh, their experts, Rob Oglesby has been really uh, working with one of our students, James Red, Redwine, um, on a daily basis. And they're building these RF circuits um, that are these radio frequency circuits that are used to um, uh, to trap the ions and mass analyze them. So they're electronic circuits that are designed to do that. And we have a whole, this is a multi-stage mass spectrometer. So we have a whole bunch, a series of these. Um, and the AMI facility has um, designed these unique circuits that allow us to do this multi-stage mass selection and manipulation and so on. And they're testing that and improving the circuit. So sort of a back and forth between um, us as the experimentalists and them as the designers um, to, uh, to make a more and more robust and uh, uh, stable sources that we can use, RF sources that we can use for this. More generally, they've been helping us with the actual um, construction. So when we designed the instrument, we did that in consultation with the um, uh, machine shop and the machinists. Uh, uh, Randy Rapogli, um, who is uh, then the d a master uh, machinist who would take the designs that we put together in consultation with him, uh, computer-aided designs, as these CAD uh, drawings that went over to him and then on his computer-controlled uh, machinery that he has building the, the components that go into the vacuum chamber. Um, and so on that level they've also been extremely helpful and then all the wiring and electronics more generally for putting together a complicated instrument like this they've helped us in decisions on for instance you can't just hook a wire you know to something that's at 5 Kelvin in the normal way um, because that's at such a low temperature and you know the other end of the wire being at room temperature you just can't do that you'll just be spoiling the cold temperature so you need to do a multi-stage process of taking even the wires from room temperature and bringing them down to these extremely cold temperatures. And so they've helped us with the, the choice of materials and are actually doing the soldering and so forth with special solders and all kinds of things like that that go into building a, a, a unique instrument like this.